got to know the princess uh, really through Jimmy Savile, the Stoke Mandeville. We pushed ourselves from Johnny Groves to Land's End uh, to raise money for spinal research. And when we got back to London, he organised a surprise visit to Kensington Palace for us, where Diana was waiting with a glass of pins. She came over and she spoke to us individually. And the lovely thing about her is she actually kneeled down. So we, we, we're on a level, which, which is lovely. I mean, we're all in awe of her because it's the Princess of Wales. But she just kind of let you forget about that and her true character of a caring, um, interested woman really came through. It was very obvious that she was very skilled at, at being with people and making people feel natural in her company. And I think she much preferred it when people were natural with her because it didn't take too long for a good rapport to build up between us all. And that went on to um, develop into quite a friendship. I recall one time when we were having lunch with her and there was, there was a little silver stand to pop the menu on and I was looking around and I put the menu off and I was trying to get this in my little top pocket and she was sat next to me and she said, Oi, what's going on here? She said, oh, sorry. <laughs> she said, yeah, we, we, we used to muck about and have a bit of fun, and that's for sure. I think Diana was very keen on exposing William and Harry to disability in a way that didn't make them feel frightened of it, because we're all very relaxed and, and having a bit of a laugh. And it really struck me that these boys were being given an insight to disability that not a lot of uh, youngsters would be getting. When the going got tough and I, I was in quite a mess in hospital, I was very low, very depressed and um, yeah, as if my world had fallen apart and when this telegram arrived out of the blue it was just fantastic I looked at it and had to read it again and I, I thought, oh, you know this, she really, really cares cares on very much personal level In April of 1987, both Matthew and Richard went into Great Ormond Street to have some fairly major surgery, and it was at that time that they launched the Wishing Well Appeal to raise funds to rebuild Great Ormond Street. Matthew and Richard, who I think were both considered both characters in the hospital, were invited back to meet Princess Diana. I remember uh, all the photographers had to stand behind a red line, um, so it was all very exciting for us, not exactly knowing what was going on, why and everything, but we knew that, um, you know, the special lady, Princess Diana, was coming to the hospital, seeing us, and uh, we had to be on our, our best behaviour, or well, we had to try to be. <laughs> I remember Matthew saying, I'm glad she's coming, because I like pretty ladies. Well, I fancy the pants, so I thought she was gorgeous. Um, and yeah, that, at that age, um, <laughs> definitely, you know about the royal family, you know about royalty, and it's... It's it was very special. Yeah, yeah. And we were sitting there in chairs, mum and dad behind us, and just watching it, and you're slowly getting a little bit more anxious, and all of that, becoming a bit more excited, you can hear the meat, can hear the meat. Yeah. And then they came down, and all of a sudden you start red, and you don't look at anything, you're a bit scared, and she sat down on the bed, didn't she? Yes, and she read this photograph album that I have produced from beginning to end, and as she was reading it, somebody who was escorting her around said, uh, excuse me, ma'am, but I think we need to be moving. And she turned around and said, I want to read this, don't worry, we'll get round and see everybody. She looked at the album and he got to the end and she said, would you do us the honour of signing it? And she said, yes, but I'm not supposed to. So she said, crowd round me. So we sort of all crowded round her, so that the press and the TV cameras could see what's going on. And she signed it and said, yeah, she the operation, the Great Ormond Street and us being there, having all our surgery done and operations and what we went through, the trauma, was forgotten. It was about Diana and she came in and then all, all, the, all the problems that we had and that we'd been thinking of or what we'd been through just were forgotten. I still remember it clear as day. I remember the feelings I had before and after and during that, the interview I had after. It's still clear. It's one of those... It's like this, it's one of those early moments of your memories that you will keep forever. <laughs>